I'm James Johnson, and you're watching Niagara Pro Tips. Welcome back everyone. This is the first video in a multi-part series that will focus on the Niagara Cloud Suite products from Tritium. Systems Integrator will purchase Niagara Cloud products and install, configure, and manage those for an end customer. When we talk about the Niagara Cloud portal and the products, we refer to the Systems Integrator as the partner and the end user or end customer is who utilizes that product. When the systems integrator decides to sell the Niagara Cloud products to customers, there's a process they go through to get set up in the Niagara Cloud portal with their account. Once that's set up, they're able to place orders for Niagara Cloud products for end customers. Whenever they place those orders, there's a form that gets filled out, which includes information to identify the partner, who's the reseller, as well as uh, the end customer and also the host IDs of the licenses which the subscription Niagara Cloud Parts will be added to and what specific Niagara Cloud Parts are being added. This allows the Tritium support team to process the order and also to create an organization for that end customer in the backend database and also link that to the partner's Cloud Portal account. This video will try to focus some on the steps of setting up the customer on the partner's cloud portal. I'm going to go to the Niagara Cloud portal and sign in with my partner credentials. The Niagara Cloud portal does utilize multi-factor authentication, so I have to approve my two-factor authentication with the Salesforce Authenticator. Now. In this case, I'm trying to show you what it looks like for a new partner who's signed up, and this is the first customer. So I've submitted an order uh, for some parts for uh, Niagara Cloud products, and uh, it's associated with this customer, Yo-Yo Dyne Propulsion Systems. So when I log into my cloud portal, I'll see that's my only customer that I have. If I click on the customer, I'll see an indication that there are no projects set up, and it's trying to get me to create a new project. Now, you can create, you have to create at least one, but you could have more than one project for each customer. And the idea with projects is that it's a folder or a container to group Niagara hosts under. So if you wanted to control access to uh, certain uh, sites for certain users, you can create groupings with those projects. And when you register the uh, devices, you're able to put them under specific projects. So it really helps with managing access to those user accounts. Now, for my end customer, I would need them to go to the uh, Niagara community site and uh, register. So if I were to open up an incognito window here and look at the Niagara uh, community site, they would go to that site. Uh, they would click the sign up button here and that would present them with a form and they would go through and fill out the form with their information. They would receive an email to activate their account, and then they would let you know about the account that they've created here on the Niagara community site. Currently, the workflow is that you would then need to work with your Tritium support channel to tell them about that uh, Niagara community account that was created for the end customer, because this is going to be a, a default Niagara community account. And on the back end side, it needs to get associated with the actual customer account, which is connected to your uh, Niagara portal account here, your Niagara cloud portal account. So uh, that is currently the workflow. We're working on improving that to simplify it, where you can do some sort of uh, self-management there to bind those customers to the account here. But currently, that's your workflow. Now, uh, once that has been completed, you, know, you can go to the Niagara Cloud hamburger icon here, and there's users and roles. And then you would go search for uh, users. Now, there, uh, this shows a number of users here, under, and they're all partner users, meaning they're uh, fellow employees at my company for managing the Niagara Cloud portal and access to our customers. Uh, in this case, I'm going to search for my customer's name which is Emilio Lazardo, and I can see that they're a customer type. And when I click on Emilio, I can then manage uh, their permissions to the uh, their project, to their projects uh, or to their buildings. 
So in this case, it's going to look fairly simple. Um, there are a number of different roles that can be assigned. I'm not going to get into the weeds on, on those roles. Uh, those are covered with a matrix in the Niagara Cloud Suite documentation. Explains what each of those roles has access to do in the Niagara Cloud portal. And in this case, I could assign all projects or just a specific project. And then I can assign the desired role to this user and then save those changes. That will allow the customer to log into the Niagara Cloud Portal using their account and they will only see uh, their customer and what projects and stations they have access to. Now this probably seems a little basic here, so uh, let me uh, do a little cooking show magic and I'm going to go enable another user account under my Cloud Portal so I can try to show you uh, a little bit more about the role management. So now that I've refreshed, you can see that I have two customers showing up under my partner cloud portal. So I, I work for Niagara Smart Buildings, which is the partner. I have two customers that we're selling Niagara Cloud products to, Yo-Yo Dine Propulsion and NSB Systems Engineering. If I look at my user accounts uh, and roles here, and I'll look for uh, a user James, this is an example. And if I take a look at this customer and click the manage access, uh, we can see that there's multiple projects set up under uh, these users and are under this uh, end customer. And if I'm using the custom, uh, if there's multiple devices registered under a project, you could give permission to just a single device under the project or you can give uh, permissions to the entire project. And you can also add roles here. So I could assign admin roles to uh, certain projects or certain devices, and I could assign a regular user role to other devices as well. So it does give you more flexibility and granularity uh, when you have multiple projects, multiple devices under projects, and the fact that you can assign multiple roles uh, to the same user to allow different access to different projects and different sites. Okay. Now let's take a quick look at what the end customer uh, might see as well. And we can do that. I can log out here. Uh, I'll discard those changes and then go back to the Niagara Cloud Portal. And in this case, I'm going to log in as the Emilio Lazardo user as the end customer. And even the end customer will have to uh, set up two-factor authentication. Could be using something other than the Salesforce Authenticator, but that's the one that we recommend. Now, in this case, when I log in as Emilio, I'm the end customer. So all I see is the Yo-Yo Dime Propulsion Systems, and I see my project here. Now, there's no devices registered yet on my project. There's nothing for me to see, but I, as the end customer, I do have access to the Niagara Cloud Portal, and I can see my organization in the Cloud Portal. So hopefully you found some of that information useful to getting you started with uh, setting up end customers and managing permissions on user accounts for the Niagara Cloud Portal. Stay tuned for additional videos in the coming weeks that will focus on uh, other features like onboarding devices, data modeling, and uh, NDS APIs.